Oh, hello guys. All right, one second. Great, much better. Now, first of all, I know my lips they look like really dry, and you know what? It's because they are dry. That's why I'm gonna put my pop filter. No, oh, just kidding. I'm just gonna put my pop filter in the middle for all of you guys who have like OCD or something. It's not in the middle. I think it's in the middle. Who even cares? I have no idea. But the fact that I'm back means that I'm making a YouTube video, and this YouTube video is gonna be about something very interesting I know you guys are gonna love it it's a video and it's not too expensive and it's really good I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on it just like you know my impressions when using it because it has multi GPU technology DX12 gonna talk about that later first of all I'm gonna get a quick announcement one of my friends he has a YouTube channel I'll, I'll leave a link in the description I want you guys to go to his channel and give him some feedback subscribe to his channel because he put a lot of hard work into his videos and he is uh, impressor on YouTube and I think he's doing some server stuff yet yeah, really he deserves much more exposure on YouTube I would say so make sure you do that anyways um, the video let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing no to be serious if we can smash seven likes that's gonna be absolutely amazing I've been recording for four minutes now all right it's called power director and is this the best editor you can get for the price hmm that's the question I mean there's a lot of free video editors and they might be better for the price but that's because they don't cost anything but this one is really good it's I mean it's better than all of the free ones uh, and um, I'm gonna give you some of my um, feelings about this editor and basically it's what you can see on the screen right here basically when you buy power director cyberlink power director of course I'll leave a link in the description for it if you want to buy it check it out get the free trial whatever you want basically um, but basically this is the uh, editor and you can see it here this is uh, the logo and stuff and you also get a free screen recorder and that's actually the one that I'm using right now and I think it's pretty good um, but yeah it's the it's about the editor of course you can import the clips from the screen record whatever the editor okay I'm opening it up as you can see it opens very quickly which is a good sign I mean uh, a lot of editors doesn't do that anyways what you see here is you can make different kinds of videos and it's very easily set up uh, the user interface the user experience is really good I think uh, and you can choose different kinds of formats for snapchat I don't know who would even edit videos in the anyways you can do like some easy editing theme designer slide to I'm gonna tell you about the full feature editor because I think that's what most people is gonna use and then of course in the correct aspect ratio i um, gonna click it, opens up with a fine little sort of transition animation, whatever. Here it comes, um, and um, here we are in the editor. And at first, as with a lot of content creation programs, it looks a bit, well, advanced. But at the same time, it doesn't look advanced. Wait a second, I'm just gonna get a piece of candy because I need that. I know I'm good at making videos leave a like all right just gonna talk with my candy um they already have some like uh, pictures you can import just to test it out and stuff and I'm gonna use them all right first of all what do you get here no first of all multi GPU what is that well basically it might not be an advantage for a lot of people but for advanced editors and people like me who are just about to buy a new graphics card and with DX12 you can use two graphics cards at the same time um, don't care about this if you don't understand it basically it means it's a better video either. okay but not for the average user it's uh, on the GPU side most people doesn't have two GPUs but uh, the editor okay so what you get first is like um, a media drag and drop kind of place 
and uh, you can of course capture as well if you click on the capture you can just go and capture whatever the microphone stuff um, but it, this is like the, the, the place you put your files and then um, you have a menu over here as you can see the first one is the effects room and you get a whole lot of cool effects running on the graphics card I love this, a lot of these effects but they are very GPU heavy as well my GPU can't handle it my GPU is a bad GPU remember that but still um, it's very uh, some very heavy ones now then you also get this one where you can um, add some picture in pictures which basically means um, overlays objects room and I'm not too sure about this one but I think you can import some best special p kinds of overlay here what you get is is a particle room and I think I think all of these are basically just picture in pixel like overlays you can put on top of it we're gonna try just in a second and check out what it is uh, here you can add text which is pretty obvious different kinds of styles you can of course customize uh, the default one to whatever you want I'm gonna show you all of this um, you also get a lot of cool transitions this is one of the really really cool things and what I've missed in a lot of free video editors now you get some really cool transitions I'm gonna show you a couple of them just in a second and also in here this is where you can like record yourself as well and uh, yeah different not too sure about these but there's a lot of things chapter room which is much more advanced but than what I will do in the next I mean what you want to see is the editing performance effects room and transitions and overlays and stuff I'm gonna show you now okay so what we're gonna do is import something okay so let's try importing a picture let's take this one and drag it you basically just drag it in and then you can zoom in by holding control which is basically a, a basic thing in all editors then that okay so the basic editing is just you can like crop it a bit like this you can put a point right here and you can split it control set go back crop the selected image um, let's just do that crop the selected image just a little bit and keeps the aspect radio um, alright that's the basic editing now let's try adding some just uh, another picture so we can see what happens this is one of the things I like because if you dra drop this image on top of the other one um, because either you it was a, f um, a mistake or you actually wanted to like overlap it then it actually gives you the options without and you can just uh, override insert insert and move all clips crossfade uh, and replays and we're gonna override it it will basically just go and override the other one which is cool and uh, let's zoom out a bit make this one a little tiny bit shorter and zoom in again just go to the start of uh, this and here we are okay what we're gonna do is uh, now we want to add um, a transition where do we have the transition we've got the transition right here I think yeah and uh, they have a lot of cool transitions I would say they have like binary turn I mean it's it's a lot of cool transitions this one what is that even I don't know but uh, you can see it's a lot of cool transitions and we're just gonna add one of them you can also get this craggy thing I don't know what you want to see really but I'm gonna find a really cool one I, I was working with one which I thought was really cool I think it's this one um, then when you put it you can put it uh, just so that it f fills out the middle drag it a bit smaller um, however you want it really let's say I want it like this okay playback boom cool transition right alright that's the basic you can um, now that's the transitions and that's a lot of cool transitions as I said now 
then we can go to effects because this is one of the really really cool things I think is cool when making YouTube videos especially um, water reflection and there's some of them as I said that are really really GPU heavy uh, especially those with a little NVIDIA logo I think they have been taking a lot of my GPU when I've been using it um, but um, let's add just a simple effect okay uh, for example backlight okay add it to the first image and as you can see it gives a bit of bad backlight let's just maybe we should add something else glass let's put some glass on the other one like that one thing that I have to uh, tell you is that it's very easy to edit with this one uh, I haven't really find any shortcuts for editing but you know when you do something in it it doesn't do something different and it's hard to explain what I mean but it's what I mean and now what we're going to do is add a overlay okay so wh why don't we take one of these for example this one I'm not sure if you drag it on top of it or add it to the overlay yeah it's basically an overlay I think um, yeah as you can see it's at, it acts as an overlay over here um, and that's pretty cool I mean it's just a basic overlay I don't know why they have a menu for the overlay but they have for some reason now it's cool anyways uh, what I'm gonna do now is just tell you a little bit about the preview you see here because there's a lot of cool things you can do with that and then afterwards I'm gonna show you a lot about this editor because you can do a lot of cool editing within the the exact clips um, just in a second now the preview as you can see over here just I'll just zoom in when I edit the video now what you can see is uh, when you right click it you can get some preview quality and some preview mode um, options this is very very important by the way you can also get do dual um, screen editing which is cool as well but anyways a very very cool feature here you can put the the preview resolution down to low which makes it a lot easier when you're using heavy effects for example or just the normal video editing then the real-time editing will be much more smooth for you especially if you put real-time preview on of course but you can also put none real-time preview on which basically turns off the audio and makes it more smooth um, now I prefer having it on real-time and then on low okay now to the editor down here basically what you can do if you right cl right click here you get a lot of options but they have already given you some of those options in a um, little menu on the top here now effects customize the effects in effects settings pa uh, page that's a cool option because then you can go and backlight and uh, as you can see we're, we're previewing it right now so we can just uh, add a bit more backlight and that's like, again real time change the degree a little bit position um, put it right there pretty cool light color let's try making it green just for fun boom you get it you get it right uh, it's different with other effects obviously now then you can also get something called uh, I'm not gonna go into mask designer but picture in picture design is really cool um, when you click that you can basically uh, animate the picture you have here now or the video as well uh, for example if we want to uh, we basically if you don't know what a keyframe is um, well don't worry about it it's cool anyways basically what you can it, by the way they have some 3d modes as well anyways keyframes if we add a keyframe on scale for example now let's say we have added we want to add a keyframe right here on scale as you can see it puts a keyframe down there here and if we go to another point or of on the timeline and we add another keyframe and then we change the scale of it which is this 
zoom in a bit then you can actually animate it let's just try adding one more as well here scale and then we will we want to make it like this uh, pretty cool now just gonna show you what that does in a moment but before that you can do chroma key effects you can go to some object settings um, you know it's basic but still very advanced you can do a lot of cool things with this add a reflection border I mean a lot of things let's just try adding a border so you can see what it does it's pretty obvious what it does honestly um, change the opacity a little bit and just put a color for example a dark red like that okay cool it's not very uh, pretty looking right now but you get it's just to give you an, an idea of what it does okay so what we're gonna do now is play it from the beginning boom you can see you can animate it and this is actually pretty powerful considering how easy it is to do this it's very easy to understand now zooms in zooms out put the the border around it then there's a transition and there's this overlay running at the same time it's pretty damn advanced and I love this now there's some other options fix and change I'm not gonna go into that things just uh, some you know easy uh, editing of some color things and stuff uh, also sets keyframes here you, yeah you can also use keyframes on the color and stuff as well so that's cool then we have some different tools here blending effect I'm not gonna go into deep with that you get the idea that's a lot of options right that was my dad who just came in and disturbed my goddamn video review damn it okay so again keyframes here to different things and there's so many options that I cannot go into all of them but you get an idea of all the things you can do with this you can just add more tracks as well it's pretty damn advanced and now but one of the main points I want to come with is that it is so advanced but the user experience is so good too and you know what they even have a mobile app with Powder Rater and before you ask no you cannot sync up your projects as far as I know but the Powder Rater app for your mobile phone it's pretty good as well I've tried it out I even reviewed it in one of my Android videos but yeah produce pretty obvious you can choose some different formats um, compression types you can um, export it and stuff now I'm very tired of speaking English it's been hard it's been very 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 hard here's the screen recorder as you can see and by the way you're gonna edit this video with power director so keep that in mind cool yes all right so here we are you can you can take a piece if you if you want to as well but um thanks for watching and thanks for part to power director for making such an awesome video editor I think a lot of people should take a look at such editors like this one it's depending so much on the use you need but you need to look at what your purpose is and find a video that fits your purpose now outro what am I gonna say I've forgotten it because such a long time ago but I guess leave a like if you enjoyed the video also make sure you are subscribed to the channel I'm gonna make a lot more better quality videos soon hopefully and yeah if you have any questions then feel free to comment them below I'll answer as many as I can subscribe to my friend Impreza and that's gonna be it I think have a nice day keep on editing what am I even saying have a nice day leave a like subscribe whatever you want basically thanks for watching peace out all right outro 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 mm. the candy's really good